Uh, good evening. It's evening here. It's uh, Wednesday, oh, the February the 22nd. And uh, on the weekend, I did a self-actualization here in Canterbury. Uh, at the last minute, a gal jumped in. She came to the preview Thursday night and immediately started crying, which is okay with me. I, in any aspect of life, I kind of enjoy. But uh, she started crying, and what was going on uh, was her mom was dying. And uh, she, the, like I said, there was a preview Thursday night. She came in, started crying, and then said, uh, I'm going to do the weekend the next day, and which started Friday. We came, she came Friday night and said, you know, it's really close. I don't know if I'm going to be able to spend much time in here this weekend. Uh, came back in on Saturday and said, you know, it's it's really, really... And we so it gave us an opportunity to talk about life and death, uh, which is, you know, life at its best is when it's impactful, when it's when you get to go through the whole array of emotions. But she came back in on Saturday and was sitting in the room, and she said, I, I have to really deal with the guilt, you know, because she had left her mom, and then uh, came back on Sunday, and we interviewed her. And it was intense. Now, imagine taking time out during your mother's uh, passing, transformation, and coming and doing a class with people, uh, one of my clients who's done a lot of weekends with me, uh, we kind of kept him patched together. He's been looking forward to this weekend because he said he's felt better uh, in the past. He's looking to see how good can he stand it. And that's a lot of what we look at in my work is just how good can you stand it. But uh, he said when this lady came back in, I just don't want to mention names, when she came back in on Sunday, it brought this intensity with it. And when somebody's going through a life and death experience, a lot of the other participants, you know, have to draw all of their pretentious or petty bullshit. Now, they don't, they can, they can go on and on about their stuff, but when you're talking life and death, it, it kind of puts things in perspective. And uh, <laughs> the one guy in the class, like, who is, he's done a lot of classes with me, uh, is in the military, and uh, quite high up, and, and lives an intense job, and, and was laying on <laughs> the ground because you can sleep and relax in my rooms. But she, when we were interviewing this lady, as she came back on Sunday, he's from Liverpool, and I'm not going to get the accent exactly right, but he said, "Whoa, this is a proper rock and roll fucking weekend, isn't it?" <laughs> and by that, it's exactly what he meant. It's the all of the intense pressures and intense curiosities in my work and then you take the one aspect in it and you you lay it out on the ground and it's a, an intense intense experience www.micpeakperformance.com